Hello and welcome to Villains Week, Episode 4. Things are getting a little bit more interesting as we delve farther into Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. This time, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class, Megatron! So here we are. Megatron himself has his own Voyager version to combat the Voyager Prime version no matter which one you have. Because there's like seven. Now, um, this Voyager, I was scared. I was really hoping he wasn't as horrible as Movie 1 Megatron. Movie 1 Voyager Megatron. This is a much needed improvement. This guy is awesome. Now, here he is in tank mode. I must say, while being an awesome figure, the leader... It's just more intimidating. I mean, this thing, it's not the most accurate, I must say. Mold-wise, this is the most accurate. Color-wise, this is the most accurate. But, this one has more accurate details from the movie, like crab claw hand, wings on the tank. While this one looks like it's been off the early concept sketches, which I wish they would have kept. This thing's just pretty freaking impressive. I mean, you're intimidated by this. It's just intimidating. You know what I mean? It's intimidating. So, there's your comparison size wise tank. But yeah, you can continue. Let's go on to this. He's got wheels so they can roll very squeakily. He's got his little thrusters on his back. Uh, he's got. There's his. Uh, wing things. Now he does have a missile, but like Starscream, a little trigger happy. Ah, gotta go through all my Transformer collection. Now, you can position this barrel up and down if you so desire, and you can also turn, uh, turn the thing like this. And these parts are rubber. But that's pretty much all tank mode does. If you want to, you can snap these up, I guess, if you want them like that. That's the start of the transformation. So first you snap those up. Then you unpeg these. And you can fold them in like that. Unpeg it. Fold it in. Bring these back. Or leave them out. Your choice. I'm just pulling back for now. You want to hold these parts open while you bring this leg down. Those will collapse around it. Click this back. Click this forward. Click this out. Click this down and around. Now you just do the same for the other side. So you get the little chicken leg mode. And there you go. So then you take and pull out his crab claw. Probably from being under the sea too long. Let me flip that out for a little extra detail. Bring this down. It becomes this other arm, which, yeah, it gets... I don't like that arm too much. And finally, you want to flip this down. Click this backpack up or down or whatever you desire. And pull those back. Fold his head down. And... to reposition it, and there is Voyager Class, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, in his robot mode! I am Megatron! Fear me, fleshlings! So yes, now I noticed in the movie, he had this crab claw arm sometimes, and he had his uh, normal hand sometimes. So, that was interesting. This Megatron is pretty awesome. He does have a backpack, but you can go for the movie one book and go, Ha ha, I can fly! Yeah, if you so desire. But, there you go. I mean, it's Megatron. What else does need to be said? For decolation, he's got the ball joint neck on the multiple joints. He's got the 360 shoulders. Outward shoulder movement. Elbows. Rotation at the elbow. And, yeah, the missile looks weird in there. And, we already got the articulation here. And you got the rotation here, and you got movement here, and you can open this up. But I gotta show you that later. 
for articulation, he's got waist joint, which spins the gears for one of the mecha lives. Another mecha lives, when you turn this, you get little panels inside there, and on the same on this arm. And the last mecha live. Whoa! He's got a sword! And if you hold it, there you go. The legs, he's got this backpack gets in the way. Sometimes I'm thinking of customizing this guy, chopping out part of his jaw, and removing this backpack of kibble. That might fix things. My complaint is this backpack has nowhere to peg into. You put it up here and there's nothing for it to peg into. And it just doesn't work. Unless you can... If you could extend it a little bit, that might work better. But I don't know. It just gets in the way. Then you got his ratchets here and forward and back. And you got all rotation all the little joints there. So there is Megatron. You can get him some pretty impressive modes with his nice looking sword. Thank you, Hasbro. For, for the one on the leader just doesn't look right. And you can do that, which is pretty awesome. Now, for Megatron, you got the sword. And that's pretty much it. That's all the features of him. He has nothing else to him. He's a nice little Voyager class figure. With a gigantic backpack of kibble that I want to just remove. And cut out part of his jaw and battle damage him so he can look all fierce and intimidating. Overall, I'd recommend Voyager Megatron. Uh, in play value, he's got a lot of mech alive. But this guy's just intimidating. It's just freaking intimidating. That's why I leave him in tank mode. Uh... <laughs> so yeah overall the two I'd recommend this one but get this one too so you can have like two you need two Megatrons his ego will not be fulfilled until you have two that's pretty much it for Voyager Megatron what will be in store for the next episode of Villains Week only sound out will know ah, 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 ah.